What's up, everybody? Second video of the week. We're going to talk PSA subs. So, for the past few months, I've had a ton of people ask me about submitting with my order their card. I have been turning a lot of people down, and it's just due to the fact that I don't want to get blown up every day about status on their order. So, I'm, I'm right now about 8, 10 people that, you know, will usually I'll help out and either put them in my orders. So they just pay for the whole thing and just want their stuff separate. But, uh, anyhow, back to the thing, is I'm probably going to allow a couple more people to start jumping in on this stuff. Nothing crazy. It means I've done business with you in the past, and payments up front, when I say the order's going out, payment's in. And I can't wait on to it because I don't want to wait until the order pops to try to get you, and then you're like, oh, man, can I get you next Friday? I'm not going to front, you know, hundreds of dollars up front for your grades. So, Money's going to be up front on, too. <clears throat> so, the way it'll work is you will ship the cards to me that comes out of your pocket. I'll give you whichever address I'm going to be using that time. When I receive the cards back from PSA, you'll pay for return shipping to you plus insurance. If you want insurance on it, I would take the insurance. That is your call. Because if something happens to it along the way, that is your responsibility, not mine, for not having it insured. So I'm telling you now, insurance you should be paying for on the value of the cards. I do it all the time. Next, if PSA is charging me $12 a card, I'm going to be charging you guys $13. You're like, oh my gosh, he's charging a dollar per card. Well, here's a catch. I'm not going to be taking friends and family payments for this stuff. It's straight goods and services. So I got to think PayPal fee is coming out of that. On top of it, I have to still ship to PSA and come back, which I have to insure the stuff to PSA and insure the stuff back. So you're also chipping in for the total cost of shipping on that going there and back. Along with, if you don't have a card saver, I have to provide that. And luckily, I got about five boxes here of the stuff, so I can help out by providing them card savers, which are hard to find. They're pretty expensive, you know, honestly. So, I mean, if you send me five cards, like, man, I'm paying you $5 to send it. Okay, well, I, guess what? I probably just paid $2 and something to PayPal. Now i got to ship your stuff, and guess what? It's probably going to run me at least a couple bucks to store that there and back. So, really, you might be giving me 50 cents for my time and effort of making sure I'm putting the stuff on there, boxing up, doing all the labeling, and then doing all the tracking and talking to PSA. So... If you're interested, hit me up by email or whatever, and we'll see where I go with it on there. So, again, you ship cards to me. I'll give you the address to use. I receive them. I will say you owe X amount of dollars. I will then ship the cards out to PSA. Upon return, I, I'll either snap a picture or say, hey, we'll go live with it, whatever, get your cards back. And then, um, you're held responsible for shipping and or insurance on your stuff back. Now, what you'll get back from me on a day of the order. Make sure I got this right this time. Here we go. All right. On a day of the order that I send the PSA, you're going to get something back like this here. Now, I did take it off to where you can't see the person's name. But if you take your mouse over this, when I do it, I can see who the owner is of this card. You can't on a screen just for confidentiality. I don't like people seeing that. But you'll be able to see. If it's not highlights, one of my cards offhand. But this belongs to somebody. This is the same person. This is somebody else down here. So you'll know that's my card. It's going out. You can verify that is what I sent you. And there's nothing wrong with that label like that right there. And trust me, there's some cards i got to do a lot of research on to sit there and dig up because I have no idea what the variations call and everything else. So, you'll get that back from me saying, you know, it'll say, hey, check the highlighted areas for your names. Those are your cards that come up with your name, blah, 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 blah. If it's not, it's my card. If it's not highlighted, that ships on this day here. All right, let me pull this off the screen real quick. Oh, my mouse went to there it is. Then, on every Saturday, I will not answer one question about your cards, except for I'll buy an email on Saturdays, because it will get ridiculous. And if you do pester me on a daily basis, it'll be right your last order you'll do with me, to be honest. 
even if you're trying to make jokes and stuff like that, I'll be like, dude, uh, this is your last order. I'm sorry. I just, I, I'm not doing this full time. I'm not making money on this stuff that much. And to be honest, it's not worth the hassle. So you'll get one of this. You'll get a spreadsheet. Now what's missing is to the right here, see where my mouse is on the screen? There's another column after this date of the mail to owner. It's going to have your last name. Now if you have a common last name like Smith, it might say Jack Smith. Hopefully I don't have more than Jack Smith. But this is going to give you everything that's gone out. It's going to give you what the submission number is, what the service level is, the date that I mailed it off, the date that it arrived to PSA. The date it was entered into PS day, PSA, these here were so long ago I didn't really do it with this column, but I started it now. The date of the last update the PSA gave me, this is the status that it was updated. So on 22 October 20, it was marked in arrived. On today, for example, regular, this is just a my submission here. So as you can see, if you want regular $50 a card, I mailed on the 4th, they entered in the PSA on the 8th. The last update just went to grading today. Don't know how long it'll be there. And then you'll see a uh, date that I receive it back. The day is mailed to you and then has the owner's names afterwards. If I get it in on a Friday, it's going out Saturday. Everything ships next day, guys. So as soon as I pick it up that day, I'll do a video. If you want to be part of the video, I'll know ahead of time to show your grades. If not, I'll just take pictures, send them to you, and then uh, I'm going to ship them out next day. No weights and lines, and I'm not going to be doing 20, 30, 40 people on this. I mean, like I said, I'll add a couple to it, um, and that's going to be about it. It's going to be people that's going to want to get into stuff either monthly or bi-monthly onto it. But that's what you get from me every Saturday. It tells you exactly where the orders are. You know what the PSA submission number is because guess what? I send you that sheet, and it's all highlighted on to which I gotta remember from now on to save a copy of that stuff before I send out because I, I didn't realize it had uh, stuff on that. It probably shouldn't be given out. But uh, I, I'll work on that piece there, maybe uh, somehow, some way. I don't know. I'll, I'll, f I'll figure something out with it. But other than that, that's what you guys will get on to it. So if you're interested in getting in a couple of submissions, you're more than welcome to. Um, if we ever hit that plateau of where I'm spending like 20000 a year and they offer me a dealer membership, I'll give you guys the same discount. Why we'll a dollar to it just to cover, like I said, all the other effort that goes into it between PayPal fees, holders, all that stuff. So uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to cover this because a lot of people have been asking me so much about this. Can I hop in your PSA orders? How will it work? And everything like that. But I do it for very limited people right now. Very, very limited. That I've known for a while. Um, and, you know, I'm just not going to be doing it for just somebody I meet off the street type deal. And I've had, you know, no um, interaction with you. Nothing personal. But this here is something that, you know, I got to be very trusted with. And then you have to trust me. It goes both ways. At the same time frame, you know. You're going to get an update every Saturday, probably around lunchtime, if not earlier, you know, of what all the statuses are. If I should have showed you guys this, but it'll say in the email, anything that'll be in green this call would be what is updated for them. So if I would highlight in green, it means that updated this week. Go back over. Click, click. So... If you're interested, hit me up. Otherwise, you know, I just figured I'd sh throw this out there. I thought about it because uh, I've had so many people ask, but I'll let a couple people uh, start tagging in. If you just want your stuff to go out in your own orders, that's fine. But also the other way I do it comes first come first basis. So if five different people send me a, like a Kobe Prism Green in, first one in is getting in that submission. I might have to divide your submission up between other ones because of that. Or you just say, hey, you know what? I'll pay for shipping to and from PSA as well. Send my stuff all together. I'll be like, all right, cool. No problem. I'll send you the total. You know, very easy to do and everything that way. There's different ways of doing it. Some people just, you know, hey, you go ahead and divide it up if there's somebody else's stuff in it. I just don't 
I don't want to say trust. I don't have a good feeling that PSA would have them in the same order I set them in type deal. And I don't want people to second judge, well, how do I know that one's exactly the card I set and that's not Bob's or Greg's or Daphne or whoever. So I'd rather be no question asked on to it. Um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Figured I'd touch on this for a little bit. Um, but hopefully you guys have a good week. We got Playbook Football to be out. Uh, I won't get it till Thursday because the shipment didn't show up to my uh, distributor yet today. I think it's coming in tomorrow. So we'll have a little bit of fun with that, and I'll probably get something else on the side for another video. But all right, everybody, take care. Have a great day. Have a good week. Um, some people will be off Monday for a federal holiday, so enjoy your three-day uh, weekend out there. And I'll pop around the stream to say hello to everybody like I normally do. Other than that, Thank you, as always, for watching. Make sure you always do the subscribe button. Hit the little bell if you want to be notified every time I'm live or post a video. Yeah, hit the like, comment if you want. Any suggestions, always put in the comments. Email me, Twitter me, Instagram me. I don't know what they're called, DM or something like that. So I'll, get, I'll always answer as best as I can. If I don't answer, it's probably because it didn't pop up and I didn't know I had a message, <laughs> especially on Instagram. So I've been pretty good checking them in the evenings now. All right, guys. Take care of a good week. Talk to y'all later.